Immigration-related bills are quickly taking center stage at the state capitol. This comes as Governor Perry demands to crack down on illegal immigration. One of the latest, a bill to require anyone who's taking the test for a driver's license to do it in English only. KXAN's political reporter Josh Hinkle is here now. And Josh, what do you think the chances are of this bill passing? Well, especially in the House, there's a good chance with a Republican supermajority. Democrats will tell you this is just the GOP pandering to grassroots, but some lawmakers say it's an important issue right behind the budget and redistricting. In the Capitol Rotunda, children of all ethnicities sang about the freedom and honor of living in America. In the House, at the same time, word of legislation seemingly targeting illegal immigrants was spreading quickly. As vice chair of the Mexican-American Legislative Caucus, I'm going to be working um, with the entire House to try to try to stop this as much as I can. Representative Eddie Rodriguez of Austin was among a handful of Democrats already working to block a bill to require anyone taking the test to get a driver's license to do so only in English. Every sign on the road is, is in English. And uh, if you can't read English, you shouldn't be able to drive in the state of Texas. Several Republican lawmakers have filed similar bills that would affect immigrants, legal or otherwise. One requiring police to question immigration status, one telling employers to check social security numbers, and one to prevent illegal immigrants from suing U.S. citizens, to name a few. I think it's just taking us a direction where we're just being intolerant instead of having a dialogue and really discussing it. As for this latest bill requiring English-only driver's tests, the lawmaker sponsoring it, Representative Tim Kleinschmidt of Lexington, declined commenting until he has a chance to review it further. You've got to learn English. That's all there is to it. If you can't speak English, you're not going to get ahead in Texas. It's unfortunate because I think that pandering could lead to more divisive rhetoric. And, uh, and from that point, I mean, who knows where that could lead as well. I just think, you know, I, I think we need to really just tone it down. This comes just a few days after the governor issued an immigration item as an emergency, abolishing sanctuary cities is something he wants to see lawmakers take up within the first 30 days of the session. Now, Republicans say he's right on target. Democrats say he's distracting them from more important issues like the budget crisis. Josh Hinkle, KXAN, Austin News. Well, this is a hot topic on our Facebook page and KXAN.com right now. Sheila agreeing with this bill, saying, quote, we live in the United States of America. Road signs are still in English, and the common language spoken is English. Christina says, give people of all languages the opportunity to drive legally by having the test available in multiple languages. After all, English is not the most spoken language in the world. It isn't even the most spoken language in some parts of Texas. We want to hear what you think. Share your thoughts online at the KXA and Austin News Facebook page.